How's it going guys? It's been a minute since y'all have seen Squeak, my C5 Corvette, so I figured I would just take time to give you guys a quick update on it. But yeah, if you guys remember, like I said, when I bought this thing, it was on like some Grand Sport wheels like Chrome, which wasn't bad. Like I said, I just kind of traded it out for the, the black wheels. We threw lower and bolts on this thing, a full exhaust, and basically serviced the whole car, you know, changed all the fluids and everything. But I don't know. I, I bought this car originally not to like it. I just wanted to go drive and drift and have fun with. But then I, I don't know. It kind of grew a personality, and I don't know. I just I don't ever drive it now, <laughs> which is unfortunate. Like to, every time I drive the car, like I said, this. I really enjoy driving it. It's just, it's really difficult to get in and out of places. It's too low. I just, I can't even back out of my driveway without like scrubbing the bottom of the car. So that kind of bums me out. So, which is my own fault, but still. And like I said, the red interior is just impossible to keep clean. Like you have to be like spotless. Like any little dirt, it just, it just destroys the interior. But yeah, let's get a quick look at it real quick. Yeah, like I was saying, I mean, it just I just put lowering bolts on it and changed the wheels. These are 18s all the way around. I can't really remember the offset, but they're like a really, really small wheel. They're not, I think the fronts are like an 8 and the back are like a 9. So they're not, nothing crazy aggressive. But for me, I'm really glad I found this car. Like the white, red, and black. I don't know, it's a good, it's a good combo. If you see any of my RC car videos, you understand that this is like my favorite color. <laughs> favorite color combo. But the red, I don't know. It, I like it a lot. Like I said, when I bought this thing, there's like a lot of little things. I'm like, well, I'm glad it's not in perfect shape. Now it's like driving me crazy that it's not in perfect shape. Holy cow, look at all that dirt up there. What the heck? How did that get there? <laughs> Both sides. That's gross. I have to clean that later. Look at me sounding like a responsible Corvette owner. <laughs> yeah. We'll fire this, this old girl up real quick and let you guys hear why it's called Squeak. <laughs> yeah, like I have a cam for this thing that I'm probably going to put in maybe next weekend. Because I got a lot of stuff planned for this weekend. But next weekend for sure maybe next week i'll we'll throw a cam in this thing once i get the cam in there we'll move on to like I said, i'd like to buy i'd like to buy some better like actual coilovers and get rid of the like the transverse you know leaf spring whatever they call them and just i don't know i'm hoping that coilovers will make it ride a little a little better not that it rides bad but still and I'd also like for this to be like the first car that I get like big angle for. Because driving this thing on track, like drifting, it was it was a handful with like just a stock Corvette. <laughs> it was a challenge. Not that I'm a particularly good driver, but it's just difficult. I love the gauges. If your gauges don't sweep, is it really a race car? <laughs> yeah, I want to get a camera this thing and get it tuned. It's like crazy weird like when i was looking for this for a corvette like so i know the earlier the earlier years you know they have like some issues and stuff this is 2002 and that motivated me to get this car because i'm like oh, okay i don't have all the typical the normal issues that they have but this car seems to have them all like this thing locked up on me one time like the anti-theft when i'm waiting to go on track just locked the whole car down <laughs> so that security light's been on ever ever since then and I think I went to like the Chevy dealership to get my key, to get a key made and everything. And I don't know, like they couldn't read the key that I have with the little reader they got. So they uh, basically told me that I was screwed, that I had to probably bring the car in and do all this stuff. Maybe it's just a way to get more money out of me. I don't know, but like I said, I want to get the cam in it and get all that crap tuned out of it. So now, I hate trash control. Not that it's, it's not useful. It's just always forget to cut it on. I'd rather, It'd be the other way around. Like traction control is always off and you manually cut it off. 
it doesn't seem to be doing it right now, but it has like a very annoying belt squeak, which I pretty much have everything to replace the, um, have like a new belt, a uh, new uh, harmonic balancer, all that stuff I'll do when I put the cam in there. But also those cheap eBay coil packs that somebody put on there, they kept burning out, so I just threw some, some truck coil packs on there, which is kind of crudely done, but it works. Uh, real quick, do you guys think it's tacky to have like your Instagram and your YouTube or whatever? But I find that so weird. Like some people kind of think it's tacky, I guess. I don't know. Like in my opinion, as long as it's not like big and like all over your car, I don't know. Like I said, we put a lot of effort into building our cars. If someone appreciates it, it kind of gives them a place to go and look at the car. I don't know. That's just my opinion. What do you guys think? <laughs> yeah, I really don't have much to do with the car today. Like I said, um, for the next couple of videos, like I said, we're gonna throw that cam in there and take it to a local shop and have them tune it and everything. And we'll do like some, some before and after exhaust sounds and stuff. So really looking forward to that. I've had the cam for, you know, as long as I've had the car actually. I think it was like one of the first things I bought for this junk. <laughs> also, if anybody's got like good advice on how to get that strap out of the tree from where I pulled the engine out of that 350Z. <laughs> Dude, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it is just like barely hooked on like one, that one little branch right there, man. That was super sketchy, but like I said, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. And that is what I'm all about. Because I shouldn't be able to make half the stuff work that I do make work, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> Look at my yard. Oh my goodness. So, good news, I think I actually have a buyer for this thing. It's supposed to be Saturday or something like that. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that will go to buy angle kit and stuff for that junk but yeah if that guy doesn't buy that thing it's going to the backyard and it's just gonna wait until i can put like a small block chevy in or something and just have a little thrash car i don't know yeah about to change some stuff a lot of cars are going to come and go but the you know the two fds corvette two z's or the two 300 zx's mr2 are definitely staying so. and the c5 for sure i think i already said that <laughs> Yeah, I really enjoy this car. I need to take better care of it. It just sits around. Yeah, future plans. Cam, very soon. A tune, re-dyno, because it made very low numbers last time. It's not low numbers, it's just, you know, it is what it is. Uh, coilers, angle kit. Drift a bit. <laughs> but all right, guys. I just want to make a little quick video on this thing before, you know, start getting into more stuff and actually start doing some stuff to it. So, yeah. All right, guys. See you on the next one.